Welcome, everybody. So, this is going to be a little bit more of an in-depth video because there's a lot of stuff that I want to cover, not only in terms of why I chose to change what I changed, also in terms of how it functions and the actual cool shit that I actually want to talk about. Not that I don't want to explain my reasoning for things like, for example, rock and poison type Cradilly. So, hear me out. People might look at this and be like, what the fuck? Why did you change Cradilly? Its typing was so cool. It's all unique. And I agree. It was a cool, unique typing. However, in this room, so there's basically, I'm, I'm going to cover, there's two important reasons. Also, amazing buffs besides this, oh, right, besides the type change. Typing is actually a very good typing. Yes, you have a four times weakness of ground. Having a four times weakness doesn't mean a Pokemon is bad. There are so many amazing Pokemon with four times weaknesses. It doesn't mean shit. Obviously, if you have like a lot of weaknesses and you're slow, it can be kind of bad. But even then, you know, it depends on the resistance and shit. But regardless, um, don't dismiss it just because it is a four times ground weakness. All kinds of great Pokemon have four times weaknesses. It doesn't mean shit, really. Just don't use it on those mons. Not to mention, uh, with Sandstream and 112 base but up and 86 base HP, you can actually swallow, swallow ground type uh, special moves, um, of which there are many more now. There are many common ones now. You know, Earth Power, Lands Wrath, Mud Fling, all, all Mud Bomb, etc. Um, <clears throat> obviously, physically, you'll you know you'll still be taking a lot of damage. But regardless, I want to talk about why I chose to do this because. My usual justification of, oh, unique typing might not make sense. So so here's what I'm going to say. Every single Pokemon in this ROM hack, every single, sorry, excuse me, every single type combination is used in this ROM hack. Every single type combo. And that's not like, oh, including, like, no, every single possible type combination is used at least once. Um, so, might be running, why did you make clearly Rock Poison? You already had Nihiligo as Rock Poison. And now you're actually removing the only rock <laughs> Grass Rock type, which is Cradilly. Um, so, there is another Grass Rock type that is eventually going to come. It is one that I don't think most people would be able to guess because it's a Pokemon with multiple forms, that's all I'll say. Alright, it's a Pokemon with multiple forms. That's our Rock Grass type. And it's fast, alright, that's all I'll say. I don't want to spoil too much. Um, so that's really cool. And you might be thinking, okay, but Nihiligo still exists, so this type change is still unnecessary. Nihiligo, we'll get to that a long ways away, you know, in a couple of months when we get there. Hiligo also has this type change. I'm not going to spoil what it is, but it's not Rock Poison anymore. And it's not Water. Or I, it's not, I mean, that's kind of stupid in my opinion. I mean, you could, but it's kind of dumb in my opinion. But uh, no, it's a very cool, uh, unique, never before seen type combination. Um, so, therefore, uh, the fact that so basically I had to change, I wanted to change Hiligo to a different type combo because I wanted it to be a, an, every, an unused type combo because it's the only Pokemon. It's a totally unique type combo. So now, Craterly and Nihiligo both have unique type combos that don't exist anywhere else in the hack. So Cradilly is the Rock Poison. All right, so that's that's the balancing reason. Okay, that's the balancing reason. But there's actually a lot of very, very, very sound justification in terms of logic. Actually, to the point where hopefully I actually change your mind or, or you know, teach you a little bit about biology after this video because Cradilly is a fucking mess of a Pokemon in terms of what it's based on. So looks-wise, it's very hard to tell what it's based on in general. It says it's a Barnacle Pokemon. However, these guys are based on Sea Lilies. Right, you might hear Lily and be like, okay, Lily, that's why it's grass type. You know, Lily, Lily, sea Lily, they're grass. You know, Cradilly is not based on a plant. My whole life, I assumed that Cradilly was based on some type of prehistoric plant or something. Like, I don't fucking know, some type of weird sea plant uh, that like made a fossil and they made it into a Pokemon. No, Cradilly is actually an echinoderm. So if you look up like what is Cradilly based on, you'll see it's, it's an echinoderm. It's, it's based on a sea Lily, and sea Lilies are in the same family as things like starfish and sea urchins. So stuff like fucking Pink Urchin and, and, and Starmie and shit, obviously, you know, um, fucking, uh, I'm pretty sure sea cucumbers are also echinoderms. All kinds of weird fucking ocean animals are echinoderms, okay? Um, I've actually seen other people um, online say that they think that, uh, that they think that uh, Cradilly should be rock poison or just not grass, that the grass typing does not make sense. The grass typing is a pun. And... I, there is going to be a Pokemon that gets a new grass typing later in the hack that is based on a pun, kind of. So I'm not trying to say that a pun is a terrible, you know, Jan Mega is technically also a pun. Dragonfly, because in Japanese there's no association with dragons and, and Jan Mega. Sorry, uh, dragons and dragonflies, there's no such thing as dragons being associated with fucking dragonflies in Japan. But, you know, people still want the bug dragon Jan Mega. So I'm not trying to say that a pun is a terrible justification for a type change in a rum hack. However, um, in this case, it actually makes a lot of sense to be a rock poison type because the dex entries say um, it melts its prey with strong acid before feeding. 
Um, it secretes a strong digest digestive fluid from its tentacles. Um, in general, it's all about the tentacles and the digestive fluids. In fact, only the only grass thing it does is talking about absorbing nutrients, but tons of non-grass type Pokemon do that. The only grass thing about it is the fucking color. It's green. That's the only reason it looks like a grass type to some people. Um, it doesn't really get that many grass type moves anyways. Obviously, obviously, it doesn't get that many poison moves anyways either, but it does get, you know, Sludge Bomb, Sludge Wave, Acid, Gastro Acid, that kind of stuff in vanilla games. Um, so. That's the reasoning, okay? Hopefully people can live with that. Not to mention, this is really fucking cool because now your Storm Drain ability actually, I mean, obviously it was good on Rock Grass Cradley as well, but on Rock Poison Cradley, you're actually weak to grass. So if you, uh, sorry, uh, water, excuse me. So if you look at um, the type combo and you see what it's, you know, resistant to and weak to, it's a very good type combination, actually. Yes, you have that four times weakness to ground. Other than that, though, you have water, psychic, and seal. So Cradilly is immune to water, okay? So with Storm Drain, of course, in this run, you do have access to infinite usability capsules. So basically, you're going to be running Sandstream the majority of the time. If you're running a weather team that isn't sand, you you run Sandstream instead. Um, if you're running Sandstream with somebody else or something, you run Storm Drain instead. If you are, if you need Storm Drain, if you need to be immune to water for that boss fight, you run Storm Drain. You swap it on, you switch it into that water type move, and now you get you know the the, the boost, and you're also of course immune, which is great. Okay, that's awesome. Um, however, you are going to be running Sandstream most of the time because of how fucking incredibly bulky it makes you, which I'll get into in a little bit. But, yeah, um, you have very good resistances, and you're only weak to, to three things, Psychic, Steel, and Ground. Ground being four times. Psychic, Steel, Ground, and then you have an Immunity to Water, and then you have a four times resist to Poison, which is pretty good. And then you're also resistant to Fairy, Bug, Fire, Normal, and Flying. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six resists, one of which is four times, and you have an Immunity. In exchange for a four times weakness and two two times weaknesses, and the two times the two times weaknesses aren't that common, anyways. I don't know. All right, and also, um, every like tons of amazing Pokemon have four times weaknesses. So being four times weak to ground does not make Cordelia a bad Pokemon any at all, at all. It just means you know uh, you just can't. It's just different than the way it used to be. And I really like this type combo for it. Logically, it makes a lot of sense. You can also read Lilith's text entries, and they also talk about the digestive fluids and uh. You look here. It says it approaches using tentacles shaped like flower petals. It's not actually a fucking plant. There's nothing about this Pokemon that is plant-like. Even, even if you want to go off the, for example, sea lily and barnacle, right? Barnacles are not plants. Barnacles are kind of, uh, actually not a kind of, excuse me, I, believe, I believe they're mollusks. Um, you know, like Barbarical, for example, is a, is a um, barnacle Pokemon. And you might think, okay, well, rock water. Yeah, but we have a fucking, what, three rock water fossil Pokemon? I don't want any more of those. It's boring as hell. Yeah, there's three of them. I don't want another a fourth one. That's stupid. I think Cradilly fits to have a unique type combo. This is still the only Rock Poison type in the hex, so he still has his unique title of being the only Pokemon of his type, okay? So I don't think there's any anything lost here. I think it's only gained. And I just think it's really cool. And it's also a balancing reason. I wanted to use up every type combo, and Nihilgo got a new type combo, therefore I needed a Rock Poison type, and the only one that fit was Cradilly. Otherwise, it was going to be like fucking Alolan Muck or some bullshit I was considering as the Rock Poison, because I did want every single type combo. Um, but I'm much more happy with Cradilly, especially after researching it. I didn't fucking know. I'm sure most people don't know what the fuck Cradilly even is, you know? But you might think it's just some weird prehistoric plant. That's what I thought. It's not. So rant over, okay? This is going to be a little bit of a longer video. I'm sorry trying to get through it pretty quickly but i do have to explain a big logical change here because a lot of people might be viscerally just ah why did you change this type people don't like stuff like this sometimes so hopefully if you are listening to this video especially this far and you're open-minded open-minded to this kind of stuff um so yeah great typing awesome abilities so sandstream and storm drain sandstream incredible incredible ability obviously it makes total sense given that they literally live in the sand they live in beaches um that kind of thing so that's just super fucking great on it. So you have 86 HP, which is very good. That's a very solid HP set. It's above average. And you have 112, 112 bulk with your good typing. And then you get the 50% speed F boost from Sandstream. So 112 speed F with zero investment. All right. With zero investment and a neutral nature. Hits 390 speed F. And that's with zero investment. So for example, you can run max HP max defense or special attack and then run just the sand and you don't need to invest in your spit off obviously in this run you do have access to infinite use ev training items so what you should be doing is switching between your evs depending on the situation say you need to take physical hits that fight okay run hp defense say you need to take special hits that fight okay hp spit off say you need a certain amount of special attack evs to kill something okay special attack hp whatever it may be i would say hp most of the time we're going to be running that but otherwise you don't need 
too much. You know, you can swap between defense, special attack, or special def. You can run unique spreads. You can, you know, go half half in your defenses and then put max HP, whatever you want to do. All right, there's tons of great EP spreads you can run on your great early. Um, tons of incredible utility. So you have access to recover early on, and then you get set amend, which is a better version of recover. Recover uh, ten levels later. Set amend is uh, again. Also, I want to mention if you are new here, click the description down below. There is a very detailed link to a Google Sheets. Uh, there's a very there's a link to a very detailed Google sheet, excuse me, um, where you can see all of these move changes and buffs, and you can, there's tons of them. Every single move is buffed or changed. So I would check those out um, for sure. Definitely um, important. Um, so can I go back now, please? Thank you. Um, okay, why well, did I say thank you? I didn't do it yet. Did I click it? Oh, I didn't click it. I'm just stupid. So. <laughs> Um, yeah, Sediment heals you by two-thirds HP in the sand, all right? It's, it's work comes from shore up, so tons of rock and ground types get that move, but it's great on Cradley because he auto-sets the sand for himself, um, and that's just an incredible two-thirds healing move in this hack. You have access, uh, you don't have access to healing items in battle, excuse me, so you're going to need healing moves such as Leech Seed or Sediment or, or uh, at level 41, 10 levels after that, roughly, nine levels exactly, to be exact, you get Strength Sap, so you essentially upgrade your recovery moves as you level up, although you could actually make a case for using Sediment over Strength Sap in some cases. Uh, I believe Strength Sap fails on Grass types, I believe. I'm not positive on that one though. Um, not to mention Strength Sap might technically heal you less depending on whatever's in front of you. For example, you use Strength Sap on a Pokemon with, you know, Clay on a Clay Doll, you won't be healing that much. Although you're still healing a lot because the way Strength Sap works is it uses their actual attack stats. So for example, Clay Doll at 50 base attack, right? You're still healing 149 HP. Um, so if you're running 86 HP, you know, max HP, you're still healing like all, almost half your HP. So, and that's only, that's on a Pokemon with weak base attack. And of course, a stronger Pokemon, you heal almost to full HP, depending on how powerful they are. For example, a Pokemon with 120 like attack would heal you to full HP from like red HP, and you drop their attack stat. So that's a great option, obviously. And Strength Sap makes perfect sense for them. They should have always had that move. I don't know why the fuck they don't. It's such a perfect move for them. Like, obviously I've been reaching a couple Strength Sap, but a fucking shit like Bombflum can get up there. Why not Cradilly? It's, it's, it's such a perfect move for it, but whatever. Um, so that's great, all right? You have great healing moves right there. Um, you also have other great utilities, such as Sticky Web, which is huge. Um, stuff like Tickle is very good. Um, Leech Seed is great. Um, stuff, obviously, Hazards is fine for in-game, but it's not actually that good in-game. It's mostly just to break focus hazards. Uh, stuff like Taunt and Parting Shot are great. Parting Shot is a little bit funky on it, but, you know, they are pretty sinister looking with the eyes and everything, so I figured, why not? You know, they fucking eat their prey alive and shit, so I've been very lenient with giving things Parting Shot, just because it's a very cool move um, that I think uh, also, because all of all of the powerful shit in this ROM hack, you're gonna need bulky shit like this. Not to mention, uh, yeah, if you invest max Fidef on your Cradley for a specific fight, 112 with a neutral nature and you know plus one from the sand, you get 484 Spidef, which is equal to like what base fucking one, 200 or something. Yeah, like 190 something. Uh, defend. I'm too lazy to do the exact math. You get the idea. It's extremely, extremely tanky. Um, so that alone makes up for the weaknesses, not to mention the weaknesses are really not that bad, and you have Storm Drain to negate that water weakness if you aren't running sand. Um, but that's awesome, all right? I love Cradily now. Um, other really good stuff. So they have great coverage. Um, of course, they have good Rock Poison Dual Stab. Um, I'm just gonna go through other options in order now. So um, again, you can check out what I'll just do. Actually, I'm gonna cover some more notable things first, and then I'm gonna talk about all their options in order, and then I'll be done mostly. Um, not to mention, yeah, the Leap is also great. Um, also, you have a usable attack stat. They have 81 101 offenses. I think 101 special attack fits, given that they, you know, dig digest things with fluids and shit. Um, either that, or it was either that or 86 attack, 96 special attack, just to make it more of a mixed attacker. But either way, it's fine. Um, or more bulk or something. But regardless, I think this is cool. Um, yeah, tons of other great stuff. So you have um, setup wise, you have a nasty plot. You already got, you already learned Swords Dance. Nasty plot, I think, fits just given their design and stuff, um, and that works great with priority moves such as Sludge Shot. Um, so that's cool. Um, Swords Dance is a little bit more situational. However, you do have access to um, really cool stuff like Power Whip um, for coverage, as well as you know rock moves like Stone Edge and um, poison moves like Gunk Shot. I and mean, what you can do is actually you can actually run Coil in the sand. So Coil gives you attack, accuracy, defense. All right, that's great. So that will make moves like Stone Edge, Power Whip, and um, Gunk Shot, which are 90% accurate, all three of them, uh, will become 100% accurate, which is huge. And then, in this hack, of course, they're 90% accurate. Again, check out all the changes down below. There's tons of buffs and changes to moves. So um, yeah, that's huge with Coil. That's a really cool combo. Um, and then you can also get that Spadef boost from the sand. So you just become really, really tanky. Um, of course, you're a great support. Like I said, you know, you got Parting Shot, Sticky Web, Sandstream, like, oh. So much fun shit, dude. It's such an awesome Pokemon. I would love to use it. 
um, in this hack. It's going to be really sick. So that's really cool for setup. Uh, you also have Iron Defense if you want that. And then also you have access to Ingrain. Ingrain essentially functions like Calm Mind. However, it lowers your speed by five, as well as giving you the Calm Mind boost, um, which doesn't matter too much for Kadoi at all. And the actual downside is that it locks you in battle. So essentially, once you use Ingrain, you can't switch out anymore, um, unless you use Parting Shot, I believe. Uh, or an eject button or something, but which is in use now if you are new here. Check out the how that unbust and stuff down below as well. Those are all in the description. But um, yeah, uh, ingrain's huge because again you can run max defense, max HP, sandstream, or storm drain, ingrain, strength sap, and you can just set up. Obviously, you do have you do have limited PP on those moves, so you can only get maximum of plus three with ingrain or uh, coil, and then you can only get a maximum of plus two with next water swords dance. So. You know, it's a little bit limiting, but it's still great. Uh, something like Stockpile and Swallow and Speedbottle is great to be able to speed able to stab. That's 100 base, so I don't, uh, 100 base power, and it increases for each Stockpile boost you have, and that also lowers the death by four, and that's a great poison stab move. And then Swallow is actually buffed to heal you uh, with priority. However, you would rather use something like Strength Ever Sediment instead of Swallow, probably. Um, it's, it's still there for flavor, though. Because um, it is priority, so you could situationally make use of that, although you don't have Movie Liner, so if you delete Sediment or Strength Sap, you're kind of... <laughs> Yeah, I wouldn't teach Swallow, but it's just there for flavor. Um, great another Pokemon, though. But yeah, I don't know what else to say. It's just got so much awesome tools. Like, even just Leech Seed and stuff is really great on it. Um, with, like, Strength Sap and, or Sediment, you know, and the Sand. Like, you're just so tanky, and it's such a cool typing, and it's immune to water, which I love, because it lives in the water, so it's like... It's immune to water, and it's weak. It's, weak. Ugh, it's just cool. It's fucking cool, and you get stronger, too. You have great coverage, so I did give them tons of water coverage moves, so stuff like Scald, Hydro Pump, Water Pulse, Liquidation, Brine, Muddy Water, Whirlpool, those are very strong moves, you just check, those, check out what those do now in the description down below. Um, you have great other coverage stuff, so you have Dual Stab, you have Grass coverage, Ground coverage like Mud Fling and Earthquake and Earth Power and Scorching Sands and all kinds of stuff. Gra even Fighting coverage with Takedown technically, so that's another reason to use physical sets, because you do have some limited fighting coverage. Um, 110 base power recoil fighting that move, which is pretty great. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say here. Um, I did consider Regenerator. I actually really wanted Regenerator. I was like so conflicted because I wanted Regen, Sandstream, and Storm Drain. Um, but I think that Sandstream and Storm Drain are overall a little bit better for it because he has tons of healing moves already. Um, and also it's a lot more unique. Um, you know, that 50% Spideff is huge and that team support from the Sand or whatever. And the Sediment healing is huge. And then Storm Drain, I think, is a, is, is a given. There's no way I could remove Storm Drain from it. That's like what it's known for. Not to mention it's weak to water now, so it kind of needs it. Not that it needs it, of course, but, you know, it's. It, it, it uses the Storm Grade even better now. Um, yeah, great coverage moves. Other great utilities, so for example, like Acid Armor, it gives you plus three defense now. It's like Cotton Guard. So that could be great with like Amnesia or Strength Sap or Ingrain. You know, Ingrain Acid Armor is huge. Ingrain Acid Armor, Strength Sap plus whatever move. Um, also, stuff like Acid Spray is great um, because that's 50 base power and drops bit F by four. So you can use that to whittle the opponent down with zero investment. So you can run a tanky set full on bulk with uh, just spamming Acid Spray or something. That's awesome. Uh, you could also use a mean assault by set if you wanted to um, for a specific fight. You know, Sandstream plus AV gives you a <laughs> fucking huge spadef. Um, like, absolutely insane. Like, you'll be swallowing even stabbers. Powers will be doing, like, not that much to you um, if you invest, of course. And then you can use that with, you know, other uh, stuff such as, um, you know, Giga Drain and your coverage moves and stuff for Assault Vest, so that's pretty cool too, uh, for certain fights. But of course, in this ROM hack, the main uh, allure is that you should be flexible with your movesets, and you should be flexible with your items, and you should be flexible with your EP spreads, and you can be flexible with your abilities. You can swap all those around at will, besides the level up moves. That's the only thing you can't customize. Not not that you can't customize them, but that you can't relearn their moves until the late game, which is part of the challenge. But um, yeah, Belch is awesome as well. Belch gives you plus one special attack, and that's also pretty early on at level 34 when you evolve. So yeah. I don't know what else to say here. Uh, Bane Hobunk and Toxic Threat is also good. Um, Siphon for healing is cool. Again, you have priority with Sludge Shot. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. I think I got everything covered. Uh, Sticky Web's a little bit of a weird choice, by the way, but I mean, he's a weird ass fucking Pokemon. They already have like, like Sticky Hold, and I don't know. It just fits their vibe to me, or Suction Cups, excuse me. It just fits their vibe to me. I don't know why, and I like it. I, I know it's a little bit weird, so yeah. But that's about it. Thank you very much for listening, everybody. Um, I could cover a couple more things, but I think this video has gone on for long enough. <laughs> Thanks to my fucking biology lesson at the beginning, so hopefully you enjoyed that as well. Hopefully you learned something, hopefully you understand why I chose this typing, and hopefully you are also fucking with it now, because I definitely am, given the uh, circumstances and everything. So, yeah, uh, thank you very much, and goodbye. Okay,